Okay, so once you've downloaded the installer for the Nimble Navigator Mail Assail Grid Request Utility, this is the first screen that comes up. It's your standard installation type of routine for Windows. You just click Next, then uh, Agree to the license, which basically says you can give this away because it's free. Here is where the program is going to be installed to. Next. Install for everybody. Next. It's going to set up shortcuts so that you can get to it. Say next. A desktop shortcut, if you want it or not. Next. Uh, here, uh, reviews the settings that you selected. Next. And the installation is now complete. Uh, launch the Nimble Navigator Mail Assail Grid Request Program. Finish. And here it is. Okay, now, for using the program, you can zoom in and out either using the wheel on your mouse or this slider here. You'll we'll also do this. You can also center on a location by clicking on it. Centers on the screen. If you want to move off toward the west, you move your cursor toward the west and click. Move north, same, south, same. You, know, you can also use these sliders to move here and here. Once you get the general area you want, then you want to select the area for the grid, move, click and hold on the area, and drag, draw this square. That's the area that you're requesting the grid file for. You can see over here the grid area north, south, west, and east. Here, the grid type. Two different models that mail a sale supplies. GFS uh, being wind and pressure in general. Uh, the NWW3, uh, you can have wind and wave height. Uh, Every so many hours, you can select every 3, 6, 12, 24 hours for so many days. Now, the larger your area, the more information you want, the larger the size of the grid. Here, it shows the approximate size of the grid as it will come across. When you're done, you have the area, the type, the days and hours selected. You click here to produce the grid request. What this will do is go to your mailing system, whether that be Outlook Express, Outlook, Live Mail, and produce the email that you would be sending to mail a sale for the request. So we'll press that now. And here is the email. I'll just get rid of this here. Send a blank email. That's the subject line. You say send. It will save it. Oh, I have the spelling checker on here. It's going to say ignore all of that. And that's in the outbox. It's sitting there waiting to go. Next time you connect to mail a sale, that's the group request utility.